so welcome guys welcome back uh, i know that i am quite running out of time but uh, anyways well, i will hope that uh, it is worth to the deploy in some some time on quantum uh, i know it is quite uh, different and difficult stuff but you can anytime you can just put your questions in chat i will happy to hear them and answer them so it's time for our part 2 where i will discuss that uh, how i implemented and what i implemented on my bolt iot module so first of all let us today's this annotation yeah so yeah so it is the hardware description uh, where these pins are on our bolt iot module and this is breadboard so basically we are representing a two bit number b1 b0 using our two leds if led is on then it is one and if you are leaving off then it is zero okay so this is the circuit uh i will wait one or two minutes people who are just uh, deploying this on their hardware they can do it so let us go to our next part now it comes to code so let me share my github repository and then uh this is the post if you haven't gone through it please go through it uh it will be more easy for you to follow with me if you read this post or we can use it for your future references too uh if you are just uh, deploying this stuff so let us start uh so firstly uh, we will import the libraries that are necessary uh, for our code like first we implemented uh, imported bolt iot library uh, for making our bolt iot module or bolt iot object and uh, second we uh, imported qiskit library uh, for making quantum circuit and matplotlib for plotting uh so as normal uh, we need an api kit for our bolt iot module and device id and here we initiated our bolt device with an api key and device id uh in this step uh, i will uh, i assume that uh, your bolt iot module is connected with cloud and the both lights are on green and blue okay so let us come with our circuit so first charlie will intend uh i will not uh, um, pressurize you or recommend you that you should know about entangling you should assume that uh, you have qubits which are entangled okay but uh, in our case uh, we have to do it okay anyhow so it is our base chain or alice message classical message that uh, she wants to share with bob uh, using quantum channel okay so as uh, we go through with the uh, super dense coding you will know that if alice want to share 01 bit okay so 
it will make a, a circuit with an X gate. If it, she wants to say one zero bit, she will make the circuit with Z gate. And if she wants one one bit, so then she will share Z and X with both gate, holy Z and X as shown in the figure. And if she wants to share just zero zero, then she needs not to uh, implement any gate or she will uh, just through an identity matrix or identity gate. Okay. So, and uh, one more thing you should note about it like in Python, uh, string zero or index zero is this and string index one is this. But in our circuit, bind B1, or you can say that the MS bit, most significant bit is this one, left side, uh, and the least significant bit is right side. Uh, as our uh, convention is of electronics, uh, but uh, there are things differ in the case kit. Uh, that's why I will tell you when uh, it differs. So, like similarly, we will make a uh, bulb circuit, like entangle bits, and then measure it. So, now uh, we will, like I told you that uh, whenever we measure in quantum state, it is one of those states that are the input and output of the quantum system. So, if we want to measure the uh, probability that uh, uh, what will be the input and what will be the output when I will do this and those, then you need to uh, repeatedly measure these uh, quantum states. Okay. Uh, that's why uh, we do our experiment repeatedly. In our case, we will repeat our experiment or repeat this circuit about 1024 times. Uh, it does not mean that we are just uh, uh, copy and pasting the circuit. We are initiating it about 1024 times and measuring it that what is the output. Okay. And uh, this is a visualization library package uh, in Qiskit for uh, visualization of this histogram. Okay. And this is their package, I told you. And we are using simulator, uh, not real hardware, because uh, like uh, if we will uh, use real hardware, then there it will take some time and uh, sometimes uh, it takes hours. So quantum simulator is like an ideal quantum machine or the ideal output, uh, which, we, which will uh, inherently in the Qiskit package that will, uh, that will execute the code and tell the ideal output. Okay. Then for probability, we will count that uh, how many times we will get which state. And then we will plot. Like we use Quasm simulator. So it is quite obvious that we will get only one, one qubit state or one, one message. Uh, I want to tell you one thing that in Qiskit there is some different convention. Okay, like like it is our string zero, but Qiskit will take it as Q one, not Q zero. Okay, uh, but uh, like simply saying that uh, uh, if we will send zero one, then uh, about after measurement we will get one zero reverse. Uh, don't worry. Uh, there is a quick fix also. Like you can use reverse bits, reverse underscore bits to um, simplify things. Or uh, what I did is that I just change a little bit or reverse the code. Like zero for zero one, I make uh, s not zero and then s one high. Okay then comes max counts like 
if you implement in the real quantum hardware then they will uh, uh they will be at yg's because of that you will not get only one one you will you may get zero one or zero zero two okay so what bob will see is the maximum probabilistic or the uh quantum state state which is highly probabilistic like we generally do do in our classical receivers too that the cores which are maximum uh, least distant from the error cores are the outputs or are the our messages okay and so that's the code like similarly like if our max count bit qubit max and one more thing like counts is a dictionary okay like uh, who people who know about python then they know about dictionary data type so counts is a basically an dictionary data type okay so that's why like if the max count or maximum key is 01 or the counts or 01 qubit set is the maximum probable then light pin light uh light the light on pin 1 uh, or put pin 1 high and put pin 0 low similarly other and uh, like that and at last uh, we will switch off our quantum uh, our iot module okay that is the code okay and uh, that is the code and you can also one more thing like you can make changes also like you can uh, instead of using our simulator you can uh, deploy this on real quantum hardware for that you need an uh, account on ibm quantum experience okay you can do that too and you can also instead of using one device you can use two devices one for transmitting and one for receiving okay uh, let me share my screen okay okay this is our software description and uh, if you puzzle anywhere just go through with my post okay or you can throw questions here i will happy to answer them and it is for you uh, please test on two volt modules and real quantum hardware that how it goes and the conclusion during the talk various uh, new concepts and difficult concepts uh, we learned about quantum mechanics dirac notation unitary what is unitary matrix and uh, what is the principle of unitary and also about cats <laughs> uh, we learned about the uh, state of art of quantum computer where it is and where we see it and most important uh, we use classical device iot module We use classical protocol, MQTT, HTTP, and we simulate a quantum protocol. <laughs> uh, that's quite like this uh, in Big Bang Theory. If you have uh, gone that great uh, seasons and sitcoms, it is great. <laughs> uh, have a kid. Great, it is a great. You have done a great thing today. uh and this is are the references that i have used and many others also that i haven't listed but anyways uh please uh, if you want to know about more about what is quantum computers mechanics and any other please go through these references they are excellent okay and that's it and uh, happy learning